Luca, this is a fantastic stand here that you have with some great machine tools. Firstly, tell us about the Matrix 1000. What yes. is this machine? Yeah. So this machine has been especially designed for the mold and dice market. Uh, this is, uh, Matrix is, is a name uh, well known in the mold and dice market, and it's one of the oldest machines that we initially developed in Breton. And this is the evolution of this uh, big uh, quality machine. What, what, what is good about it? I mean, I, I see in here we've got obviously a fixed table and um, the spindles moving uh, across on a gantry, correct? Yeah, you know that Breton, in, innovation for Breton is one of the must that we need to, to apply on each hour design. And this machine, so we started from the needs of modern dice market. So we went to our customer and future possible uh, customers and we asked them, what would you like us to do for modern dice market and to improve our matrix? And they give us a, a huge amount of suggestion. That what you, were those suggestions? Yeah, you will find on the wall uh, on the other side of the machine, some example, and we are asking now to customers that are coming here to visit us to put their impression. And so they, for example, they said, I want a machine cheaper, I want the machine... That's always at the top yeah, of the list. Yeah. <laughs> that was not a surprise, of course. But I want the machine more accurate, I want more power from the spindle, I want uh, uh, an orthogonal head, because you know that we only have uh, four cats on our previous design. But mold and dice market, they have some very difficult place to be reached by the spindle. And so the, this configuration of uh, head is more advantage for them. You, so, you said two things about power and uh, accuracy. Yeah. How do you make the machine more accurate? Yeah, that machine has been completely redesigned from zero. So we took only the good parts from the previous machine and we implemented everything new. So now the machine is much more rigid, twice the rigidity than before. And we also develop a special patent uh, on this machine to guarantee accuracy and precision. So th that's talking about the agility of the machine and the speed of the machine. Yeah. When, when you're talking about mold and die, you need a high-speed spindle. What, what, what's the options here? So the option we can we can go from 14,000 RPM with uh, this the new high torque uh, um, spindle that is up to uh, 160 newton meters continuous and can be 224 in S6. So for the 40% of the time. Uh, this is a, a big improvement respect to the previous one that was only 100. And then we can speed up up to 28,000 RPM if uh, requested for the super finishing of our some small holes. And where do you keep the tools in this machine? Tools, uh, the standard one has one drum that is uh, just uh, 30 position. Uh, that is generally enough for the mold and dice standard market. Then we can extend easily because the machine is symmetric so you do not have to, s to spend anything uh, apart uh, the, to purchase the, the new... So it's kind of modular, you can build... And you can build up another 30 from the opposite side. So you can reach as a standard version for 30 to 60 without a very expensive uh, form. So it's big, high speed, powerful, everything that you, yes. you'd need in a high quality yeah. machine. And also that machine had been again redesigned based on the previous model and the needs of the customer. It is the new way of designing for Breton. And you will see that the ergonomics is particularly important on that machine because everything the operator needs to do is in front of the machine. Also the tool change is in front. Everything, also the, any control he has to do on the machine is in the front. So the, you will always see the operator there, never disappearing somewhere. It's uh, great to see these high quality, high precision machines. Thank you very much, Luca. Thank you. You're welcome.